हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ इट हेल्प्स इन यूर लर्निंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज दैट द स्ट्रेट ए बी ऑफ द वन मीटर डायमीटर मीटर हेज डोर एक्सर्ट फोर्स ऑफ फोर्टी थ्री नोटन ऑन पॉइंट बी डिटर्मिन द मोमेंट ऑफ दिस फोर्स अबाउट पॉइंट ओ सो हेयर वी हैव दिस स्ट्रट एंड दिस स्ट्रट हैज़ अ डाई मीटर ऑफ वन मीटर एंड इट इज एक्टिंग फ्राम ए टू बी and the force is a magnitude of 450 newton and we are required to determine the moment of this given force about this point o at this hinge and as we can see that uh, this lid is open and it is having 30 degree angle with the with the floor or we can say that with the y axis so we can find the moment by vector analysis we can say that the moment moment about point o this is equal to the uh, moment arm so we can define the moment arm for this force f from point o uh, a position vector from o to b so this will be the moment arm or we can define the moment from moment arm from o to a now it's our choice to select uh, our ob or our oa as the moment arm so let's let's say that our ob is the uh, position vector which we are going to consider as the moment arm for this force f so this is our ob cross force f vector so now in order to find the moment about point o we have to represent this force f as a cartesian vector and then we have to find the position vector from o to b now to find the force to represent this force as a cartesian vector we have to find the coordinates of this point a and point b so since this is 3d so to find the coordinates of point a if if we look into this whole mechanism from the top so we will be able to see uh, this shadow right so and we will be able to see the y axis and the x axis from the top so if, so this is the top view and from the top we can we will be able to see the y axis and the x axis and this is that uh, shadow of the lid on the floor and as we can see that uh, this radius is 0.5 and this is also 0.5 so point a is located somewhere here and then this is the origin somewhere so if you want to find the coordinates of point a from the origin so point a is uh, at a distance of this much distance along the y axis and this much distance along the x so this distance is uh, since the radius is 0.5 this is 0.5 plus this distance so if this is 0.5 and this is making 30 degree angle which is given here so this is 30 so if this is 0.5 then this is 0.5 cos of 30 so point a is at a distance of 0.5 plus 0.5 cos of 30 along the y direction and along the x this is 0.5 sin of 30 so 0.5 sin of 30 this is 0.25 and this is along the y this is 0.5 plus 0.5 cos of 30 so let me write the coordinates of point a so along x the coordinate is 0.25 from the from the origin along the x we need to travel this this distance to reach that point a from the origin and along the y is 0.5 plus 0.5 cos of 30 and since point a is lying on the floor which is the xy plane so the z coordinate will be equal to 0 now the y coordinate is 0.5 plus 0.5 uh, cos of 30 which gives a 0.933 so this sum is 0.933 so the coordinates of point a from the origin is 0.25 meters and 0.933 meters in the y and 0 meters in the z similarly we we have to find the coordinates of point b so to find the coordinates of point b we have to observe the system from this direction so if we observe the system from this direction we will be able to see uh, the y axis and the z axis so this will be our y axis this is y and this is z and we will be able to see uh, this curvature as a straight line so that is from o to b so this o to b length is 1 meter since this radius is 0.5 so 0.5 plus 0.5 this is 1 meters so from this we can conclude that uh, 
this is one meters and this is making 30 degrees so this distance along the y-axis will be uh, one meter cos of 30 so this is cos of 30 and this is sine of 30 so the coordinates of point B from the origin is let me write the coordinates of point B from the origin so from this uh, projection we can say we can see that point B is in the yz plane so there is no need to travel along the x so the x coordinate of point B is 0 since it is lying in the yz plane and similarly uh, in the direction of y we need to travel this distance and this distance is uh, 1 cos of 30 so cos of 30 is 0 0.866 meters and similarly in the z direction we need to travel sine of 30 that is 1 sine of 30 so 1 sine of 30 is 0 0.5 so these are the coordinates of point b in meters and these are the coordinates of point a in meters so now we have to find the f vector so f vector is equal to its magnitude times the unit vector from a to b since force f is acting from a to b and we can write that this is 450 and the, the unit vector from A to B is the position vector from A to B divided by the magnitude of that position vector. So now this is this F is equal to 450 and the position vector from A to B can be determined by subtracting the coordinates of A from B by subtracting the coordinates of the tail from the coordinates of the head. So that is 0 minus uh, 0 0.25 so that will give us minus 0 0.25 along the i then 0 0.866 minus 0 0.933 so that is plus 0 0.866 minus 0 0.933 that is in the j and then the z coordinate 0 0.5 minus 0 so that is plus 0 0.5 k now divided by the magnitude of this so first let me simplify this this is 0 0.866 minus 0 0.866 minus 0 0.933 this gives us minus 0 0.067 so let me write this as uh, minus 0 0.067 and now let's find the magnitude of this so the magnitude will be 0 0.25 square plus 0 0.067 square plus 0 0.5 square under the square root so this will give us the magnitude which is uh, 0 0.25 square plus 0 0.067 square plus 0 0.5 square this gives us uh, approximately equals to 0 0.563 meters and now we can write this force f as a cartesian vector this will be equal to 450 and now we need to divide this each component of the position vector by this magnitude so that will be uh, minus 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.563 this is in the i uh, minus 0 0.067 divided by uh, 0 0.563 in the j and then plus 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.563 in the in the k so now let's find all these ratios so minus 0 0.25 uh, minus 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.563 uh, so this gives us this is we can write that this is 450 and minus 0 0.444 i then 0 0.067 divided by 0 0.563 so this is minus 0 0.119 j and plus 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.563 this gives us 0 0.888 k so now from this we can see that the force has a uh, has a component along the negative i this is negative i one component along the negative j and one component along the positive k so now the force is acting from a to b so it will have one component in the negative x one component in the negative j and one component in the positive k 
Q. So now this is the Cartesian vector representation of the head force F. And now to to find the moment, to find this moment, we have to find the position vector from O to B. So the position vector from O to B is uh, is very simple. So from O, we need to travel this distance, this distance, and this distance is how much? This is uh, 0 0.866. This is cos of 30, and then we need to travel this. So the position vector from O to B is there is no need to travel along the x so that will be 0 i and then uh, cos of 30 we need to travel this distance this is uh, 1 cos of 30 in the positive y so 0 0.866 and then once we reach here then we need to travel this distance which is uh, 1 sine of 30 and this is 0 0.5 so plus 0 0.5 k so this is the position vector from a to b now the moment about point O vector is equal to R O B cross the force vector and this is equal to I J and K. Now the, the component of the position vector is 0, 0 0.866 and 0 0.5. This is 0, 0 0.866 and 0 0.5. And similarly now uh, we can write this, this and this. This is minus 0 0.444, minus 0 0.119, and 0 0.888. And now we have to multiply this whole determinant with 450 since uh, all of these components are multiplied with this 450. So, so we can write that 450 outside of this determinant. So this is 450. Now the moment about point O is equal to 450 and then we have to hide this this uh, column and this row so this is multiplied by this minus this so this is uh, 0 0.866 into 0 0.888 minus 0 0.5 into minus 0 0.119 i and then for j we have to hide this row and this column and with j we always write any we, we always need to write minus sign let me write it as this is i then we will write minus j and then this is j so 0 into this 0 into 0 0.88 it is 0 minus this so we will write minus 0 0.5 into minus 0 0.444 and similarly for k we need to hide this row and this column so this is 0 minus 0 0.866 into minus 0 0.444 so this is minus 0 0.866 into minus 0 0.444 so now let's simplify this the moment about point o is 450 and 0 0.866 into 0 0.888 minus 0 0.5 into minus 0 0.119 this gives us 0 0.829 0 0.829 i and this is now from this we can say that this minus into minus is plus and plus into minus is minus so first i will write minus and then let's multiply so 0 0.5 into 0 0.444 this will give us 0 0.222 j and then with k we will have minus into minus plus so plus and 0 0.866 into 0 0.444 so this is 0 0.385 k now we need to multiply it by 450 so now 450 into 0 0.829 this gives us uh, 373 So this is approximately 373 newton meter and then 450 into 0 0.222 this is 99.9 .9, so minus 99.9 j and then 450 into 0 0.385 this gives us 173 173.3 
along the q and the units of this is newton meter so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning also subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems related to engineering statics